Hello, hello, guys. Uh, here we have a Lenovo. This is a very, very old uh, Lenovo. I think it's 10 years old. Uh, I, I don't know anyway, but it doesn't matter. This machine is not turning on. Let's see. Uh, before I ended, I end up lying. Let's see. Okay, what do we need? We need uh, a white. Okay, the two the white port. Not port charger. Okay, here we go. I got one. As you can see, a big pin. Let's see what exactly this machine does. And I have a power button. I think the power button connects here. Yeah, bro. I think I'm right. Now let's see. Okay. Okay. But there's something wrong. It is something bad here. The capacitors, they seem to be rusted on that side, on this side. Uh, but let's see what exactly this machine does. I don't want to lie and end up lying. Uh, let's see. One of the IT companies uh, here in Deppen, they, they gave me this to repair. So I want to see if I can repair this. Yes or no. Let's go ahead. Let's find out. If yes, yes. If no, no. So what you do, you connect one probe to positive. Uh, I'm using a DC bench power supply and one probe to ground. And then you inject the 19 volts. I mean, you supply the 19 volts. Okay, let me limit the current in case there's a shot. Okay, seems to be fine. We find the power button. Okay, it's not turning on. Let's try the second one. Okay, okay, it's not turning on. The last one. Okay, there we go. It's turning on. And the fan is spinning. And then it went off. Not sure whether it's resetting or what, but it did turn on. The fan was spinning, and there was a light there, and then it went off. Let's try again. Oh, okay. I think it needs more amps. Turn it on. Turning on. Oh, okay. Guys, the machine is working. I think it's working. Okay, so what we need, let's connect uh, uh, RAM, 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 uh, Okay, we did, we need a DDR3. There we go. Okay, let's see. There is no HDMI on this machine, but we do have a screen. Let me connect the screen. There we go. We do have a strain. So you have to be very careful with this mess. Just try to be very careful. You know why? You don't want to short anything. So let's be careful. Let's connect the strain.
Okay. Okay, I'm not shorting anything as you can see. Okay, it connects ground there. Ground to ground. Uh now what else? Okay, let's send let's supply the power. Okay. Okay, the machine is not turning on. Why? Okay, let me remove the RAM. Let's try without the RAM. Still, it's doing the same thing. Let's one take. Let's one turn on. Let's remove the screen. Screen is out. Put back the RAM. Okay, seems super fine. Turning on. The fan is spinning. Okay, something is taking 800 milliamps. Okay, the problem is coming, is coming here. I think the LVDS is faulty or the strain is faulty. So, which one do we believe and which one do we check? Okay, check for sure today. On the 19. Okay, no shots. So what I'm gonna do, I have to put this aside. Okay, so it's easy. What I'm gonna do, it's very, very, very easy. We will connect an LVDS cable without a screen and then see if the machine won't turn on. I know when it's when it won't turn on, uh something will take power from the power supply. That's how I was able to tell whether the machine will be able to turn on or not something was taking four milliamps now let's see the fan is spinning i hope you can notice okay let's remove an lvds cable let's turn on the machine i hope you can see the LV desk cable is faulty. Okay, let me repeat again. I want you to see these funny behaviors. I want you to see. See, the fan is spinning, and when you press the power button, the machine won't turn on. It's only st uh, getting stuck there on four milliamps doesn't go up okay we have an answer a faulty cable uh, LVDS cable is faulty it's faulty I don't know how but I know for sure the LVDS cable is faulty 